students welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to understand that what is python programming language so here i make the uh, make some uh, powerpoint presentation uh, which is uh, based on basics of python programming language so guys you all uh, very well aware about that python programming language so there are many 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 programming languages uh, which uh, uh, which are there in uh, our which we study so here i make some slides over it so let's begin with the second slide like what is python programming language so before uh, coming to the what is python programming language we have to understand that why we need python programming language or why we need any programming language so it's a very very uh, interesting question computers cannot use human language and programming in the binary language of the computer and it is very difficult to communicate to human being uh, therefore more programs are written using programming language and are converted to binary language so basically it gives the idea uh, basically programming language is an interface between the human being and the computer so here i make some pointers a programming language is a set of rules for communicating an algorithm so communi uh, programming language is a set of rule is a, uh, is a, called as a protocol for communicating an algorithm algorithm is what is the procedure and the second point comes it a programming language a programming language is a notational system for describing computation in machine readable and the human readable form Python is a high level programming language certain examples of high level language are C++ and Perl Java etc so before uh, python is a high level language so what is the uh, what is high level language can uh, okay let me describe that what is high level language so high level language is basically the human friendly languages so let me uh, describe that what is what is high level language okay so now the uh, fourth point is python that are written in high level language is required to be processed processed before they can run so it's a very easy point guys so let me first discuss about that what uh, what is high level language so high level language it is easy to learn <coughs> so can i take the example between high level language and low level languages so high level language it is easy to learn and as we uh, talk about the low level language it is difficult to learn and high level language it is more understandable to the human being and it is far understandable to the human being translator is used in high level language to convert high level language into machine language and in uh, in low level language no translator is re required program in high level language are slow in execution program in low level language are fast in execution deep knowledge of hardware is not required in high level languages and uh, if we talk about the low level languages uh, deep knowledge of hardware is required to write programs in uh, high level language it is normally used to write application programs and in low level languages it is normally used to write hardware programs so i uh, i think that you understand the what the difference between high level language or low level language so moving to the uh, next slide yes features of programming language so uh, we are using any programming language uh, we need to understand that what features we need to uh, see like while we using programming language so the first point is ease of use right so programming language has its ease of use it is easy to handle right it has limited range of functions it has availability of options it has a large availability of options it has def uh, default options as well so coming to the next slide role of programming language so this is the logo of python guys role of programming language is what 
what the role play in programming language getting the answer it gives the answer in a very precise manner and it gives correctness it gives preciseness it gives efficiency and it is very use uh, user friendliness okay so uh, next point is characteristics of a good programming language so the first point is clarity simplicity and unity and the second point is orthogonality so uh, let me describe it for once clarity means it gives the clarity clearance theek hai clearance deta hai simplicity it is very simple to use and unity it integrate the environment right and what is orthogonality orthogonality is what attributes of being able to combine various features of a language in all possible combination with each combination being meaningful this is what is orthogonality and ease of program verification and the next is program environment portability of program and the cost it is uh, affordable to all the uh, users uh, it is open source software like uh, coming to the next slide algorithm so why we uh, moving forward to the programming language there is a topic comes like what is algorithm an algorithm is formally defined procedure for performing some calculations so algorithm is basically what the procedure procedure we are performing uh, in some doing calculation doing some calculation so now the second point is the pro, uh, the algorithm gives the logic of the program that is step by step description of how to arrive to a solution so in uh, layman's term or in nutshell uh, we can say that like uh, algorithm is like a procedure to uh, to uh, solve any problem by step by step okay so algorithm uh, there are two approaches for designing an algorithm so there are two approaches first one is top down approach and the second one is bottom up approach top down means we are going to top to bottom top to down and bottom up means bottom to up so example of top down approach is factorial of a number example of bottom up approach is substitution method right like we are um, like when we are in 8th or 9th standard we doing substitution method or in we we in uh, we are in uh, uh, like uh, 11th or 12th we do factorial as you all know so i am not describing it on a very lengthy method now this next slide is control structures used in algorithms so control structures means controlling controlling structures so there are three structures there are three control structures used in algorithm first one is sequence and the second one is decision and the third one is repetition the first one is sequence sequence means each of the step of the algorithm is executed in the specified manner so in sequence when we doing uh, algorithm when we doing some calculation it is executed in the specified manner so for example algorithm to add two numbers like when we want to add two numbers there is a algorithm which we have to follow right uh, then uh, we make an algorithm from the step 1 is input number 1 as a and step number 2 input number 2 as b and set sum a a plus b print sum and the next is end print is the keyword which are we use which we are using in python now the second is decision decision statements are used when the outcome of the process depend on some condition so uh, basically decision statements <coughs> are those statements in which the outcome is totally depends on some condition like true or false like equals to or not equals to right are you getting my point what i'm trying to say so for example find the number which is equal or not so let's start with the step number 5 input number 1 as a step number 2 as input number as input number 2 as b here i misplace miss the 2 right but you understand step 3 is if a equals to b print equal if they are equal else otherwise it will be not equal else 
print not equal in step 4 is end so um, here are the two control structure we discussed sequence and the decision so coming to the third control structure which is repetition 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 means which involves executing one or more steps for a number of times like in uh, in repetition control structure like we are performing an uh, calculation we are performing any operation which is executing or executing one or more steps for a number of times like for example algorithm to print 1 to 10 natural number step 1 is start step 2 is set i equals to 1 n equals to 10 because natural number comes from 1 to 10 that is why we have taken the i value from 1 and n from 2 to 10 repeat step 3 repeat step 3 and 4 while i less than equals to n print i equals to 1 set i equals to i plus 1 here is the end of loop actually looping uh, is there uh, but uh, i will discuss in the next video step 6 and so here the sum control structures has been finished so here is the thank you so if you like my video please um, please like my video share my video and subscribe my channel you will get the information